when I first started archery, and I shot split finger. And I shot split finger because I started out shooting with the recurve. Then I switched over to bare bow, and I tried shooting three under. I started watching videos, reading more about it, because three under brought the arrow closer to your eye. So easier to line up with the target. Anyhow, my accuracy improved dramatically, but I didn't feel as comfortable holding it at full draw. My release didn't feel as natural. Just holding the string, my hook felt unnatural. Even to this day, it doesn't feel right. It feels imbalanced, like you're holding that versus that. I always felt like I was pulling more towards the middle of the string. So, watching a video by a YouTube buddy, great guy, Scott Winters. It's on his channel, and he has this video about making a small, slight change. You know, don't be afraid to change something if where you are is not working. And not being held back by, you know, what you're fixed on, you know. Don't, don't, I, I, I settled on three under because I, right away, within my first month of archery, mind you, I noticed that a uh, increase, you know, a, a, my accuracy got better, my grouping got better, but then again, I was still like in my first month of archery, but I noticed the arrow was just in my peripheral vision. You see my other video about how I shoot, the arrow was just always closer to the target, so my gap was shorter. So now, I haven't shot split finger and since then. And watching Scott's video, I was thinking, wow, you know, I, I, mean, I want to try it again. I want to try shooting split finger. And I don't want to rule out that maybe that's really how I should be shooting, or it just worked for me and my style of shooting. So I pulled out. The very first tab I made, actually, in my other video, I said, well, anyhow, this is the very first tab that I made, besides this part I replaced, but I did have a little 3D printed part I had on here originally. But it's the first tab, the first split finger tab that I made. Shot this for a while, a few months, and I stopped. So I thought I'd give it a try. The form another thing about Scott, he has incredible form like absolutely I, I, I would kill for his release it is beautiful if if there's anything that is you could call perfect the perfect release he has it or he, he has he's closest to it from my scene in traditional archers it's it's beautiful gorgeous release check out his channel he's a great guy wonderful guy intelligent super intelligent probably one of the most intelligent archers on youtube um check him out scott winners or the bearded guy, you may know him as. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> We're gonna take another page out of Scott's book and shoot at nothing in particular, <laughs> a blank target. Uh, so we're not focusing on hitting a bullseye. We're just gonna look at the arrow group after the fact, after we try the under and split finger. So, uh, just so you know, the camera is zoomed out. So it might give the appearance that the target is further than it is, but it's really really close i have the car here for scale i'll take a walk up to the target and walk back so you can see how close i actually am only five steps away five steps away so i'm, I'm very close so we're really just going to look at the arrow group and shoot at nothing I predict after the first arrow, I'm just gonna start chasing arrows because that's how my mind works. Once an arrow's in a target, I'm just gonna start hitting, shooting at that arrow just because it's on the target. So let's see what happens.
There you have it, folks. Let's see it from here. Let's take a look. Keeping the camera zoomed out. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna turn this off. We're gonna switch up tabs. Go to my split finger tab. Get that shot. Okay. I turned the box around. So there's like no holes or anything for me to start like focusing in on and hitting those instead. So, fresh, uh, clean slate, blank slate, if you wanna call it. Switching over to our split finger tab. Okay. <laughs> it's almost like split fingers too. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're almost all touching each other. Except for that one. That one was so, like, you can see it in the playback. I, I was just freaked out I was going to hit the arrow because I just kept it in the arrow. So, wow. I mean, that is dramatic difference. <laughs> uh, let's do another round. Cause this is curious. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try three under again. Okay, I was trying to just shoot them pretty fast. Just, you know, draw back to shoot. Um, spread. Okay, turn this off. I'll give split finger another shot. Okay, we're back. Ready to give split finger second shot.
again. Okay, don't worry about the arrows in your head. I'm just hitting arrows left and right, split finger, wow. Wow, like it's just, it, yeah, it just, like I said in the beginning, you start the video, it just feels more natural. My release just flows better. I got a better follow up there. This was my scared arrow. <laughs> I was scared I was gonna hit this bunch. And, I don't know, I think this one I was like really just, I just aimed a little higher to get away from it. Cause, yeah, they're just. <laughs> I may have to start shooting split finger or just definitely checking it out more. I, I'm going to keep experimenting with this because this is a very curious situation that I'm planning myself in. I'm sure you can all agree. You all saw it. Uh, thank you, Scott Winters, for giving me something to think about. And this, this may help my game dramatically. I'll start... We'll take a we'll make a second video at a longer distance and see what happens. But yeah. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the whole rigmarole, give you the spiel. That's what everyone does. And yeah, I want you to subscribe. I, I'm I'm on my knees asking for your subscription. I will be there to give you new content. If you can just give me a little thumbs up, a little subscribe down below. It's not that hard. Just push the button. Push the button. Push.